Hello guys, it's Glermit here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get at least Box 9 on the current Galactic Challenge which is Coruscant Jedi and this is another Inquisitor one. So, for this the feats are the following. You need to complete the battle of 14 Inquisitors, complete the battle, complete the battle after gaining offense up 20 times and attempt to inflict purge 60 times. So what I found first is there is the modifier, or yeah, the modifier here that once the leader lo uh, dies, essentially the the match is won by by whichever leader falls first. So I tried doing this on the top tier here because I thought well, it's not really the best Jedi or the best lead, but unfortunately what happens is uh, they just kill the Inquisitor lead way too quick, and yeah, it's it's quite difficult to win. So what I did here was I just went into the uh, lower one, this is only the gear 12 section and I just did normal inquisitors, pretty straightforward. Onto the next battle here and on this one we are on the max tier and we're trying to get the 60 stacks of purge. So the team I've found to be quite useful is Palpatine lead with 5th brother, 7th sister and 8th brother. I then bought any pre-taunting tank. So I've tried for success with L3 and some other tanks, but uh, just for the purpose of this video, we're using Sith Trooper. You just want someone pre-taunting to take that first mass assist from Kenobi. And then the other condition here is that you probably might want to restart a few times. Now the reason for this is Revan will most likely AoE. If he does this, he's going to kill everyone. So the, the trick here is... Um, Wait until Revan marks down your tank. Now this might take a few tries. I think it took me about seven re retries here. And once he marks down the tank, it's pretty straightforward. Because of Palpatine lead, you're going to be gaining almost all your turn meter every time you take a turn. I mean, look here. Uh, fifth brother takes a turn. He takes another turn. And, and it's just an endless loop. And again, like before, you don't need to target anyone else. Because once you kill the lead, you win. So just target down Kenobi. As long as you... Uh, bring 8th brother this will be fine because 8th brother is here as he will um, be afflicting blind and ability blocks um, so yeah that that's why he's here as long as you keep Revan blinded he won't AoE and the others aren't really a problem uh, he, like you can see here it's not too difficult on to the final feats which is the offense up ones I just took standard Jedi um, and yeah, we just took normal Jedi here, Shakti, Jedi Revan lead, Grandmaster Yoda. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated to get through this. Um, Kenobi took a while to go through. And in the end, I actually changed to targeting Revan. Which, you know, in, in terms of this feat here, the offense up one, if you're going to use Jedi, yeah, go for Revan first because Revan can cause issues. And you just don't have those... Um, debuffs from the Inquisitors to really get through Kenobi here so also I didn't take into account Savior and all those fun things so yeah I would say I would recommend go for Revan take him out first then come back and worry about Kenobi either way it's pretty straightforward I was just calling Shep T on every assist I kept on uh, passing the buffs with Yoda and then also using Revan's uh, lead special on Shakti there as well. Like I said, guys, it's pretty straightforward. And yeah, hopefully, you guys can all get at least uh, tier 9. If some of you get max crate, let me know. And if you do, what team did you use? My name is Glermit. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.